A four-year-old boy, a baby, whose mother sought advice from an anti-vaccine Facebook page on how to treat flu symptoms, that boy has died. The mother reached out to members of an anti-vaxxer Facebook group saying that her son was prescribed Tamiflu, the most common antiviral medication, but didn't fill the prescription. She complained that natural remedies were not working and she asked for advice. The advice that came in the comments section included breast milk, thyme, and elderberry, none of which are medically recommended treatments for the flu. My soy's gone. I Facebook message, but you must have missed it. I sent some links to prove vaccines will turn your dog autistic. It's peer review, natural news is hella journalistic. The editor is gluten free, a vegan psychic mystic. Sometimes I wonder if you might know more than Gwyneth Paltrow, but anyways, fuck it. You're a shill and she's on Netflix, bro. My girlfriend's pregnant too. Don't think I'll vax her though. Those toxins will block the natural weed I make her smoke. Here's some links. I read about this heroin addict that was vaccinated. They said it's the aluminum in them that exacerbates it. I know you probably hear this every day, but you're the biggest sham. I read your turntable health clinic was just some pharma scam. I got a room full of these articles. Did my research, man. I'd like to send them to you. Cause dog, you know your shit is whack. Anyways, hope you get this Z. Hit me back. Facebook chat, you pharma whore. Love your jams. This is Dan. My tea won't flow, I'm wondering. Call the road. I hope I wasn't blocked. I ain't mad. I just think it's fucked up. You think I'm a Russian bot. If you didn't want to talk to me outside Taco Bell, you didn't have to. But you could have signed a vaccine exemption for Matthew. That's my service weasel, man. He's my closest bro. We waited outside the drive-thru for you with a cheese burrito and you just said no. That's pretty shitty, man. We packed it full of measles. Natural exposure, cause little Matthew's scared of needles. Ah, he's foaming at the mouth now. I probably just need to feed him. Remember when we met on Twitter? You said if I tweet you, you would tweet back. See, I'm just like you in a way. I don't connect with doctors, neither. I got chronic Lyme, but still got no believers. I can relate to what you're saying in your songs. So when I have a shitty day, I Google cures and grab a bong. Because I don't really got shit else, but that shit helps when I'm fatigued. Even got a script from a homeopath for kombucha weed. Sometimes I feel better when I meet more folks like me. I joined a Facebook group called Health Nut News, and they hate MDs. But every time I watch your vids, it's real the way you tell it. Health 3.0 is so legit next to the bullshit they sell. And see, they don't know you like I know you, Z. No one does. I just wish the system would get better, but it never does. You gotta reply, man. I'll listen, too. Natural news is pretty dumb. Dan, P.S., that weasel bit my hand. My arm's gone. Internet celebrity, I'm a farmer shill for cash. This will be the last message I ever send your ass. It's been six hours and still no word. You don't respond quick? I sent 40 DMs and still get this auto response shit. So this is my last Twitter message. I hope you get it. I'm in the car right now on my way to a tennis party. Hey Z, I put a jade egg up my butt. Dare me to drive? You know those moms who feed bleach to the kids just because it might cure their autism because they saw it on some site all the while desperate because no doctor would help them, right? That's kind of how this is. You could have rescued me from woo woo. Now it's too late. I'm on a pound of CBD. Now I'm cuckoo. And all I wanted was a stupid message or a call just to let me know my pain is real. I'm not some kind of fraud. I needed you, see, dog. Celebrities ain't docs. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you seethe about it. And when you live stream, anti vaccine freaks scream about it. Hope your kids get vaccine injured and you dream about me. CZ, shut up, Matthew. I'm talking to Siri. Hey, Z, that's my service weasel screaming in the trunk. He got a Autistic from vaccines, so I gave him a mercury enema, but he's been acting nuts and hasn't pooed, so I'ma blame you. Well, gotta go. Mercola's posting now. Oh shit, my phone froze. How am I supposed to tweet this shit out?
Dear Dan, I meant to write you sooner, but I've just been slammed. Nothing I type will change your mind about vaccines, man. Look, I wish I had the time that you deserve. The system sucks, ain't paid to talk, we're paid to do procedures. I'm sorry your girl won't get her shots, don't get confused. Trust her OB doc, not all that weed and natural news. And what's this bit you said about burritos full of measles? That's a serious disease, I'm uneasy about that weasel. You got real issues, Stan, chronic Lyme notwithstanding. I think you had some trauma and want a doc that's understanding. It makes me sad when those celebrities spread advice that kills. But docs who do it out of love get branded pharma shills. I'm really hurt about that stuff you heard about my clinic. We work hard to do care right, but of course insurance killed it. I think we could have helped calm the fears that you're attached to before you hurt yourself, your girl, or your little Matthew. I know you're mad, Dan. I'm sad you don't feel hurt, but I get mad when kids get hurt because, damn, these vaccines work. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I saw this one bit on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was on his phone and drove his car over a bridge and had a rabbit weasel in the trunk with a bunch of mercury in it. And on his phone, they found a text, but they didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was... It was you. 